We ended the last video talking about solubility of gases and how the temperature affects the solubility of gases. Well, another important consideration when talking about gases is the pressure. We know from experiences with carbonated beverages the effect that pressure has on the solubility of a gas. When you have a new bottle or a new can of a carbonated beverage and you take a look at it, you can see that most of the gas is dissolved in the solution. There might be a stray bubble or two at the surface, but most of the gas is dissolved. The second that you open it and you release the pressure, you'll see bubbles coming up or effervescing out of the solution. Once you lower the pressure around the solution, the carbon dioxide becomes less soluble in the solution and the bubbles start coming out. This is an application of Henry's law. What William Henry stated is that the concentration of a gas in a solution is directly proportional to the pressure that's applied. As you increase the pressure, you can dissolve more gas in the solution. Conversely, as you decrease the pressure, then gas will come out of solution. Another application of this comes from people that are scuba diving. In order to become certified as a scuba diver, you learn that you have to control your changes in pressure, particularly if you're diving at any depth for a long period of time. As you do that, you increase the pressure around you, and so gases in your blood, particularly nitrogen, begin to dissolve. As you come back up to the surface, however, you're decreasing the pressure around you, and the gas that has dissolved in your blood, again the nitrogen, will become undissolved and you start getting bubbles in your blood. This can be very painful and actually lethal if done to extremes. This is referred to as the bends.